grateful that you have your way this morning. Thank you, Lord, for this us of prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, very quickly, I'll be, we'll be giving thanks to God and worshiping him. Yes, we know our time is fast spent. We want to exalt the name of the Lord. We want to glorify him. The Bible says, giving thanks unto the Father who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance and light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, who want to worship and glorify his holy name, who want to lift his name higher, who want to adore him, who want to thank him for our lives, who want to thank him for the ministry he has handed over to us, who want to thank him for everything he has done, who want to worship him for all of his goodness, mercy and compassion towards us he is god he is lord he is savior he is redeemer he is all in all there is no one to be compared or liken unto our god our god is great and mighty and powerful he is all in all jehovah elohim jehovah mikediske jehovah tiskeno the god who have been from time immemorial we worship him we praise him we elevate him we adore him we reverence him we bow before him May his name be forever honored. May his name be forever exalted. May his name be forever worshipped. May his name be forever lifted higher. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm reading from the scripture of truth in Second Eleven, rather, and it came to pass after the year was expired, at the time where the kings go forth. Uh, no, there is an echo. Whether my voice can be heard, I don't know. Can my voice be heard? Hello, can you hear me? Is anyone here? So you mean? I do, I do, I So that David sent Joab and his servant with him, and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Jerusalem. <laughs> Verse one is a lot of mysteries. It was a time where there were battle. It was a time. The scripture said, "Time that king go forth to battle." It's the time that King was in battle. We want to pray right now as the family, as the head of the home, we want to call upon the name of our God that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the strength to always, the strength to always stand in the gap for the family, for our home, may the Lord bestow upon us the strength never to retire or expire. The strength never to relent. You know, there are health of home. There are men in many families. After battle have been fought over and over, they feel that they have fought enough battle and they will relax. And at the point of relaxation, and that's where the enemy will just strike. And then before they know it, they discover that they are starting from square one. Moment. Never to relent. The Bible teaches us that we should be sober and vigilant every moment. And it is because of our adversary who is not sleeping. 
our adversary who is always looking for an avenue to strike. That's why we are told in that scripture to be vigilant and to be sober. We are begging and praying to God now, asking him to help us by his strength and by his power, by his grace and by his fire, by his anointing upon our lives that we will wage war day and night. We will be valiant in our fight. If we help us, the God of heaven will assist us. God will stand by us. We will not fail. We will not fall. We will not falter. It was a time where kings were going to battle. David relaxed. And that brought calamity upon him. We will not relax spiritually. We will not relax in our evangelistic outreach. We will not relax in our prayer. We will not relax in our waiting on the Lord. We will not relax in visitation and follow up. We will not relax in doing the biddings of God. We will not relax in doing the biddings of the Almighty. We will not relax in carrying out the injunction of the Almighty. May the Lord help us. May the Lord assist us. May the Lord stand by us. May His grace be mightily sufficient in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, help us. Help us, O oh God, help us. By your Spirit, you will help us. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we will be helped. By the finger of the Most High, we will be helped. By the Lord Jesus, we will be helped. Oh God, help our heart. Oh God, help our soul. Oh God, help our spirit. Oh God, help us day and night. In the name of Jesus, we will stand firm. We will stand courageously. We will stand holy. We will stand tall. We will stand vigilant. We will stand sober. We will be watchful. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We look at that verse 1, and uh, in verse 1, and it came to pass after the year was expired, at the time where the king goes forth to battle, that David sent Joab and his servant with him and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Rabbah, for David started still at Jerusalem. Uh, now, you, want, you may want to know what may have uh, David to do this. Maybe overconfidence of I have done enough for God. And maybe, he, or, you know, arrogating so much to himself that he has done so much. Started yet, and they look at the man every month, look at the man every week, look at the man going everywhere, and then making sure that kingdoms are conquered, making sure that souls are being won. That's what we're talking about. But David didn't do that, he felt that it was. for all this little little battle you know that's what some people do they commonize temptation they commonize some issues and unfortunately the temptation they commonize are some of the temptation that bring them down flat on their feet and then they fall into immorality
Jesus Christ, that the Lord will help us, we will not be overconfident. We will not be overconfident. We will not allow ourselves just to get to a point where we feel that we have done enough, others should do, and when we relax, and when we relax, when we have not gone to glory, we must keep working, we must keep winning, we must keep striving, we must keep praying, we must keep evangelizing, we must keep doing the biddings of God until we are called home, until we are told in heaven, child, come home, servant of God, come home. In the name of Jesus, help us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to read verse 2 of that scripture. In verse 2 of that scripture, and it came to pass in an even time that David rose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman washing herself, and the woman was very beautiful to look upon. And uh, as you read on, you see the problem here. The man was idle, and because he was idle, his eye went to see what he was not supposed to see. You know, when you find a man who is just idle, not doing anything, loafing around, and then just folding his hand, not doing anything for the kingdom, not doing anything secular, not doing anything for the family, he just idle there, just watching TV, and just idle there, doing other things that are that just like that. Temptation becomes very strong for such people. And that was exactly the problem of day. Now, the problem was not even whether he didn't go to battle anyway. Well, if he had not gone to battle, yes, he could be doing something else. He could be praying. He could be praying for those who had gone to battle. He could be exercising himself in spiritual things. He could be reading some of the available, you know, uh, laws of the Lord. And then he could be doing all of those things. But he didn't. He didn't. Carnality had invaded him at this time. And, you know, other things that invaded him at this time. And when he saw the woman, well, sin is not even the issue now. Uh, but there was an issue with him. When he saw, he couldn't remove his eye from it. Already he had perfected the art when he saw. We're going to pray right now that as many men on our platform who are just idle, loafing around, loafing, idle, not doing anything as a result. Have you found out? That even people who tend to do all of these things, they come as to the pornography, this one, that one, that one, that one. You see, some of them will just lie down on the bed. And then they'll just be hope they can't sleep, they can't close their eyes and sleep. But when you find a man who had labored, labored very well in the day, if he lies on the bed, in the next few minutes, that man has gone. He has slept off. So even the issue of falling into the falling into the thought, it doesn't even come into being at all because. He has labeled. He's not a lofi, lofas. He's not a lazy man. He's not an I do man. An I do man. Very terrible thing. What to pray? God will help our men. They will Amen. be engaged positively. They will be engaged in a legitimate manner. All the idle life, all the idle men and women. All the idle people on the platform, all the idle leaders and all that who are even looking for something to do, but they are just idle. Nothing. God will show mercy and Amen. get them and get them engaged. They will get engaged in something legitimate, something beautiful. They can use in taking care of their family. And then we are going to pray very quickly. We trust God that God will engage them. As many of our pastors who are not even doing things that are that are providing good job for them. Let the Lord himself have his way. Let the Lord himself take control. Let the Lord himself provide for them. Those of them who are struggling, most of them who are just battling with life and battling with things financially, and they are not able to take care of their family. That's not the perfect will of God for anyone. That's not the perfect will of God for anyone. I say it again. That's not the perfect will of God for anyone who are expected. And God expects that we engage ourselves in something and we take care of the family, our immediate family, and then from the extra two, we take care of people around us or extended family. But much more than that, the immediate family must be properly taken care of. And that's the standard of scripture, that we must take care of our people, of our household. We want to pray that God will help our family, God will help our pastors and leaders, God, we have our men on the platform. You know, when a man does not have anything doing, you know how belittling that can be. 
you cannot provide basic things for your children, it can be very demoralizing, it can be very discouraging, it can be very disturbing as well. Let's pray God will take away this reproach from any of us and remove all of this reproach and make things available for leaders and pastor. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. I read from that verse uh, 3. Uh, the, the man called David had not mastered what we call, of course, of course, in those days, um, uh, they had issue with internal inbred sin and all of that. So when he saw it, he saw the woman, and then lust had invaded the heart of David. And that was why David sings for woman. If lust had not invaded David, David would have probably, after seeing the nakedness of the woman, or probably seen, because the woman, woman was washing herself, as we were told, as we were told, washing herself. Probably she was, at, she was in her bedroom. Only God knew how the bedroom was, that David could see from afar. Okay, so, but that's not the issue here. But the issue here is that David saw, she, she would have removed her eye. And we see a lot, even on the internet, I see. Sometimes you even see almost a naked, you are seeing what you are even not supposed to see. You are even seeing the private part of, uh, 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 even on the platform, you are seeing that here and there. Even on the platform on WhatsApp, you click something like, don't wait for you to be seeing that it's a private part of a woman. But you no interest. You delete it very quickly, and then you remove your eye. You are not beginning to try to experiment. David was trying to experiment what he has seen, right? Because lust had invaded the heart. We are going to pray. You know, some people, when they want to preach, they will say Delilah was what destroyed Samson. No, it wasn't Delilah that destroyed Samson. It was lust that destroyed Samson. Samson was destroyed by lust. Delilah was only an instrument. If David, if Samson had no problem with lust, Delilah wouldn't have been a problem. But because lust was a very serious problem with Samson, so Delilah became an answer to the lust in the heart of Samson. Oh my God, I want to pray. As many leaders and pastors, as many members and men who are having problems secretly with lust, may the Lord deliver this morning. It's a serious prayer. There are women that have problem with lust. I mean, very serious one. They have a serious, serious issue with lust, that God will deliver from lust. There are young men on the platform, women on the platform, who may be having battling with lust. Battling. Yes, they are church people, but battling with lust. Let the Lord deliver from lust. As the Lord Have you seen men? Men who are lustful. Men who are real problem with lust. They can speak with anything. They can have affair with anything. Anything. People who have lost problem. They can sleep with anything. I read a few days ago how a man will be having affair with goats and at the same time having affair, uh, you know, sleeping with a wife and sleeping with goats until the wife caught the husband. In fact, Funny enough, the goats, the wife have even seen the goat as the story, as I read the story, except it's not true. Except it's not true. But if it's true, that's highly demonic, that's highly evil. And the woman kept on treating infection, treating infection, treating infection, not knowing until she caught her husband red and dead. Ha! Ha! Having an affair with goats. And then coming again to sleep with the wife. What a misnomer. What a wicked world we are in. What an evil world we are in. That's the kind of world we are in. A world that is totally lost in lust. Lost in evil. Lost in immorality. Lost in sexual perversions. Let's pray. But we're not falling into the, the pit that David fell into. It was a very serious pit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not when it's about the lost. And I'm trying to conquer the Lord. The Lord conquered it. And then he slept with the woman. 
after sleeping with the woman, what happened? It led to another issue. He needed to cover it up. That's the issue with sin. You have committed sin. The best thing to expose that sin, not to cover. If you try to cover it, you are trying to commit another sin. And that was why Moses, uh, David became a mother. And then he murdered, he killed the wife of that woman. Very unfortunate. It was a stain on his garments. It was a stain on the record of David, of that terrible, terrible offense. Terrible, terrible thing they did. Want to go before God now? As many men on the platform or anywhere who are hiding their sin. They have sinned quite all right. They have done evil. But they wouldn't want their wife to be aware of what they have done. They wouldn't want their husband to be aware of what they have done. They want to pray that the Holy Ghost will bring mighty conviction upon them now. They will not, because if they die in that condition, they will go to hell. There's nothing like uh, uh, God will forgive if they die. No! God is not a sentimental God. He's a God of justice. He's a God of principle. They will go to hell if they don't confess that secret sin, that evil they have committed. That's why I want to cry to God that God... A lot to learn in this passage, a lot to read, a lot to pray about. But then uh, we saw what happened here. When Uriah was gone, David sent for Uriah and uh, Uriah rather, and then he came. And David tried to use all kinds of manipulation and all kinds of things so that Uriah could sleep with the wife and all that and all that. All of those cannot, cannot, hey, my God, my God. It was, in fact, by this time, it's like Satan was sitting in the heart of David. It's like David was not just himself anymore. He want to pray and say, oh God, deliver me, deliver my wife. Satan will not enter into my wife. That's my last prayer point. It's like Satan was just sleeping, was just uh, lying down in the heart of David. Because all that David was doing here, God was not in it again. He, he planned, he was just telling lies, he was just strategizing. It's like Satan had invaded his life completely. No wonder the scripture say, neither give place to the devil. <laughs> you see now, you see why Satan, the, the scripture want us not to give allowance to Satan. Because if you give the David was like a monster here. He was like a monster. I am telling you, how could you sleep with a woman? <laughs> Somebody else's why, and then you are still planning to kill that person. Ah uh ah, -uh, that's Satan for you. Want to pray? 
The devil will not invade the life of our leader and pastors. The devil will not invade the life of our men in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will help us to be watchful and vigilant over our lives. We will not become an experiment for Satan to feed upon in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the revelation of your word this morning. Thank you, Lord, for what we have considered. We pray, Lord, that you will help us. That we will not become loose, careless, and flippant like we saw in the life of David here. There are women everywhere, on our street, on the internet, temptation everywhere, even in the church. The Lord, you will keep us holy and pure and keep us rapturable. Want to make it, we will make it. Whatever the devil is trying to do to defile our heart, our eyes, our ears, you will help us to be determined that come what may, we will make it. By the grace of God, whatever, oh Lord God, the devil wants to do to make sure that we become disqualified, he has failed in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us as men to be valiant. Help us as men to be watchful. Help us as men to be vigilant. Help us as men to be prayerful. Help us as men to watch. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. Yes. I, uh, I, it is my belief that Pastor Yomi will repeat this uh, uh, this lesson once again on prayer point once again. And I pray that God will give you the opportunity in Jesus' name. To me, Amen. it may not be because of your program, maybe the way you have slated it already. Anytime you have the opportunity, this is just not for the uh what is it for the divine intervention you can maneuver it don't need any program uh you still lead so that both the men and the women uh we able to be the particular of the blessing uh one thing uh, another thing i want us to know that we shouldn't be ignorant of any little little thing i don't know if i told us one of the person that led the that left our group uh, started another this prayer meeting another group and they call it uh the fine intervention team so we shouldn't be ignorant of the uh, any devices so so what uh, we should be praying that almighty god will continue to establish us more in jesus name it was later i see the reason some people that we started together they started leaving but to me i'm not bothering uh, because the truth will continue to reveal, uh, reveal himself. It's not something we're supposed to even be talking about. We should just continue to pray for the, our prayer meeting that any, uh, we shouldn't be careless about it, that any devices of the uh, devil against it, it will not be manifested in Jesus' name. And the grace mm -hmm. of the Lord will be upon us in Jesus' name. And that will let our, the leaders know that we shouldn't be adding our meeting we carefree. Uh, it just it has become ordinary meeting. We go, please let us uh, be prepared and then face the uh, face the situation. And because a lot of meeting that is happening now in the headquarters, you see that our meeting is limited. All those things we leader need to be taking note, taking note so that uh, our meeting will not die. In by the grace of the Lord, it will not die. But God will continue to uphold us, and we will continue to do. The way we are doing it, the way we are holding it uh, before, and grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. You can see many people are not online, but I don't want us to be looking at that whenever we are leading. Lead that one to every one of us that are not leading. Any person that is leading, just concentrate on leading. Don't let your mind be divided. The, all of us that we are leader, we are watching, and then or whatever we need to do, we are going to be continue to do it so that you will not be disrespected from what you need to do. Just let us share the grace, because I know Pastor Yomi is going to work. Let's share the grace together. So I think this is another uh, GCK. So, 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 so let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of life, 
and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.
And everybody said, Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. How am I doing today? I'm doing great. How about you today? I pray the blessing of the Lord will be multiplied in every life today in Jesus' name. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I will be glad. Jesus name Father in the name of Jesus we bless you at this time we thank you because every day every moment you load us with tremendous blessings and benefits we're asking oh Lord you open our eyes to all the benefits are waiting us today in Jesus name Lord we claim it again there'll be no loss we proclaim it again there'll be no lack we accept it again, there will be no limitation. Unlimited blessing, untold blessing. So, Lord, we pray that you grant your people today in Jesus' name. All spiritual blessings in heavenly places. All physical benefits you give to us here on earth. Oh, Lord, we pray nobody will miss your tremendous transforming hand even today in Jesus' name. Lord, among the children of Israel came to the time when there was no one feeble person in all their tribes. And Lord, we're looking up to you that in our church, children church, youth church, and all the other areas, oh Lord, we're praying. It will come to the time and this may well be the moment when there will be no one feeble person among us. No sickness among us. No premature death among us. No calamity among us. No disaster among us. Oh Lord, we pray, fulfill it in Jesus' name. In all our states and all our regions and all our cities and all our towns and all our villages all over this country and continent of Africa. Oh Lord, we pray and beyond that Lord, your blessing will enrich every life in Jesus' name. Show us the way. Show us the way. Show us the way to personal blessing the way to perpetual blessing, and the way to permanent blessing in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, everyone today, every a touch of miracle upon everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, we accept it. Lord, we receive it. Lord, we know it's going to be so in every life in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> you know, sometimes it looks funny. Some people clapping, some people looking, some people whatever. Wonderful. I said Wonderful. The angels will carry your clapping to heaven in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You can be seated now. We're talking on something tremendous and very important, very special today. You see, many people, they know about healing, but they don't know about health. They know about, you know, getting sick and getting up and getting sick and getting well and getting sick and getting well again. But... God can keep you healthy for one whole day. He can keep you healthy then for one whole week. Then he can keep you healthy for one whole month. What if in a whole year, from now till the end of this year, that no sickness touches you? A lifetime of divine healing. A lifetime of divine healing. That's what God does today. He continues tomorrow. He continues next week. He continues for the rest of your life. Why not? That's what we learned about the people of God in Bible days. Show me the time and show me the passage when Noah was sick. Show me the time and show me the chapter and the verse 
where Abraham could not, even at a hundred years of age, he was up and running. You'll be up and running in Jesus' name. Tell me about Moses. Tell me about Joshua. Tell me about all those men of God and women of God too. They kept healthy. We're going to keep healthy in Jesus' name. And that's why we're here today. If you are healthy already, praise the Lord. But the Lord wants to put the key in your hand. And this key, by the grace of God, will keep you strong on your feet all the days of your life in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for how God saved my soul and saved me from depression. Um, some months back, I had a very serious depression. I had a lot of challenges left, right, and at a point, I thought about ending it all. I thought about just driving down to Third Leland Bridge and just park my car and then jump inside. For cases of depression, suicidal tendencies, or intent to kill oneself, uh, that becomes an emergency. So, but before then, something in me um, made me to go through my phone because I do listen to WF Kumi through GCK programs on radio. So that day I said, okay, I log on to the app and I saw a place that you can connect. So I decided to say I'll pour out my mind because I just needed to release everything that, that was happening to me. So I just poured everything. So the pastors, they reached out to me and they preached to me and they led me to Christ. After then I had this maximum peace, like there was this peace within me and all the challenges I was having left, right, everything just disappeared. Places that the thing I don't even know that is going to be a way out. God just provided the way out. And every day by day, I'm having a closer walk with him. And I'm so grateful. God really led me to end my life. And he has been faithful and guiding me through. Praise the Lord. visitation through Christ. Yeah. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it has cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April 2023. Time 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their seat belts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumui at the Royal House Chapel, Kaneshi at 0600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism, put it away, come as a Christian. Youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my food, food soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your cup, we're on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK. The gospel to every creature. Everywhere you go, you meet people overwhelmed by life's struggle. Yes, the hardship, the sickness, the pain. Look to your left and right. 
and you can feel the heart's longing for an escape, searching for answers. Hello, Ghana. The GCK flight comes to the coastal capital city of Accra in Ghana. The land of freedom and rich diversity is set to experience God's freedom and diverse miracles. From around the world, we connect with international gospel evangelist, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumye at the April edition of the Global Crusade, themed Glorious Visitation from Christ. Get set to encounter the wonder-working power of Jesus Christ as He visits us from April 20th through April 25th, 2023 at 1600 hours GMT daily and global worship service at 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. An exclusive conference for Christian ministers, church workers, and corporate professionals will be held on April 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th, where Jesus Christ anoints them with enabling grace and power for end time harvest. The young eagles are not left behind too. At the Impact Academy for teenagers, campus students, and young adults on April 22nd, the GCK convener will propel them to the sky and fly upward to higher heights. Out of Independent Square, Accra, Ghana, the word of power would be broadcast worldwide through satellite, radio, TV, and the GCK social media platforms. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by Jared Anderson. It is your time for a life-changing experience. So, you are welcome to this month's edition of the GCK Publicity Talk Show. I am Unduka Samuel, and I'll be your anchor for this month's edition. Like I said. I bid you welcome to this month's edition. I'm not here alone. I have um, some guests with me. I have physical guests and I also have virtual guests. But very quickly, I want to introduce and bring to us our physical guests. You are very welcome to, to the show. Um, yeah, thank you very much. My name is Funusha Adele. And my name is Hazan Perez. Also, as we continue on the GCK publicity talk show for this month, we are going to be joined virtually by our global chairman, live from Portacourt, is Pastor Andrew Osagi. But as we establish connections with him, I would like to um, tell us more about GCK. What's GCK? GCK is Global Crusade with Kumui. And this program stands on a tripod of three legs. We'll go deep into that. But very quickly, I want to ask our guests who are here with me what the GCK has been to them and how well they've enjoyed and benefited from the GCK so far. What has been the GCK like for you? The GCK has been a very great experience for me. Um, something that I've benefited personally, I've prayed, I've come to GCK expecting, and I've had miracles in my life. People around me have testified. It's something that I'm always looking forward to. It's been such a blessing to me. It's something you are always looking forward to. The last edition we in Togo, how was the GCK experience for you like? GCK experience, oh, GCK experience in Togo was a very wonderful one. We talked about this man, this, uh, the Prince of Peace, and I was able to pray on my life and let Jesus take the center stage and for charge of every aspect of my life. It was a very wonderful period for me. It was a very wonderful period. Of course, the world is going through a, l a lot of turmoil, trouble, and the world really needs peace. I want to be very sure that we have established connections with um, our global chairman um, right there in Port Harcourt. Like I said earlier, he will join us virtually. Once I'm sure that we've established connections with, with him, I'll be bringing him right on. But before then, we would like to go on a short break. Don't go away, stay tuned. But also, I would like to um, also fill our pause. Let me know where you are watching to us from. Um, drop a, a, an emoji, a like, a comment, Tell us exactly where you are joining us from. We would love to hear from you 
and we'll also read it out um, as we comment in this talk show. Don't go away. Stay there as we'll be back. God, are you ready? for a glorious visitation through Christ. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest, and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April, 2023. Time, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their seat belts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumuyi at the Royal House Chapel, Kaneshi, at 0600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism, put it away, come. As a Christian, youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my foot, foot soldiers here, and I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call, we're on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK. The gospel to every creature. God. Publicity chairman right there with us by name, Pastor, um, Pastor Osagi. Um, right now, I can confirm to us that he's, he's live there um, joining us. Um, welcome to the show, sir. We are so glad to have you on the show with us. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? No, Jerry. Hello. God bless you. Okay, so let's let's go on a short break as GCK. we wait to establish connections with our global planning committee chairman. Global crusade. Thursday twentieth. Tuesday, 25th of April, 2023. Can somebody go and bring that in from Isaac, please? God, are you ready? Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest, and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April, 2023. Time, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The 
global world has tightened their seat belts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumui at the Royal House Chapel, Kaneshi, at 0600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism, put it away, come as a Christian. Youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my foot, foot soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call for on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK. The gospel to every creature. And fly upward to higher heights. Out of Independent Square, Accra, Ghana, the word of power would be broadcast worldwide through satellite, radio, TV, and the GCK social media platforms. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by Jared Anderson. It is your time for a life-changing experience. God, are you ready for a glorious visitation through Christ? Yeah. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana, Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April, 2023. Time, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their seat belts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumui at the Royal House Chapel, Kaneshi, at 0600 hours GMT. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism. Put it away. Come as a Christian. Youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my food, food soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call for on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK, the, the gospel, gospel to every creature. creature.
Everywhere you go, you meet people overwhelmed by life's struggle. Yes, the hardship, the sickness, the pain. Look to your left and right, and you can feel the heart's longing for an escape, searching for answers. Hello, Ghana. The GCK flight comes to the coastal capital city of Accra in Ghana. The land of freedom and rich diversity is set to experience God's freedom and diverse miracles. From around the world, we connect with international gospel evangelist, Pastor Dr. W. Webb Kumye at the April edition of the Global Crusade, themed Glorious Visitation from Christ. Get set to encounter the wonder-working power of Jesus Christ as he visits us from April 20th through April 25th, 2023 at 1600 hours GMT daily and global worship service at 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. An exclusive conference for Christian ministers, church workers, and corporate professionals will be held on April 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th where Jesus Christ anoints them with enabling grace and power for end time harvest. The young eagles are not left behind too. At the Impact Academy for teenagers, campus students, and young adults on April 22nd, the GCK convener will propel them to the sky and fly upward to higher heights. Out of Independent Square, Accra, Ghana, the word of power would be broadcast worldwide through satellite, radio, TV, and the GCK social media platforms. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by Jared Anderson. It is your time for a life-changing experience. God, are you ready for a glorious visitation through Christ? Yeah. Anything that is contrary to the fullness of the benefits of the promise of God in your life, it is cancelled in Jesus' name. The land is ripe for harvest, and the people are ready for a glorious visitation through Christ at the Independence Square Osu, Accra, Ghana. Thursday, 20th to Tuesday, 25th April, 2023. Time, 1600 hours GMT daily and 0700 hours GMT on Sunday. It is for you. I said it is for you. The global world has tightened their sick belts and all interdenominational churches are ready. I believe that with the coming of Pastor Kumi, Ghana, and for that matter, the churches in Ghana will not be the same. The enabling grace and power for end time harvest is for all ministers and professionals on the morning of 21st, 22nd, 24th, and 25th days of the Global Crusade with Kumui at the Royal House Chapel, Kanishi, at all 600 hours yet. We need to stand up and join hands, put away all our denominationalism. Put it away. Come as a Christian. Youths of Ghana and youths across the world, are you ready for an upward to higher height on the morning of 22nd April, Saturday, all 600 hours GMT? Myself and my team are working so hard to bring the students for the crusade. I have my foot, foot soldiers here. And I want to assure you, Chairman, that Scripture Union is going to mobilize the students to be impacted with the gospel. We will be blessed by glorious music from choirs around the world and engaging worship led by singer and gospel artist Jared Anderson. Your call, we're on over. And I want you to set your mind like you set your alarm. GCK. Yeah, yeah, dear. GCK, the, the gospel, gospel to every creature. creature. Yeah, welcome back to the GCK live studio for the publicity for this month's uh, program. 
just like we said uh, before we went on that break, we have our pastor, Pastor Andrew Sage, who is the GCK Global Planning Committee Chairman. Welcome very much, sir. We are glad to have you here with us. We know that you are very busy, and we thank you most sincerely for um, spending our time with us um, to, to speak to us. Thank you very much, sir. God bless okay. you. Yes, sir. sir we for just... the good work you are doing. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. This sir, is the are... greatest work anybody can do under the sun. A work every generation will remember. I greet all globally. This is the time God is visiting the whole world again. Global visitation with glorious visitation from Christ. As we be anchored from Independence Square, Osu, Accra, Ghana. From Thursday 20th of April to Tuesday 20, 20, 25th of April 2020. You may ask, what is GCK? That's global crusade with whom we, the gospel for every creature. It cuts across the whole world, all the continents in the world, all the countries in the world, all gender, male, female, every age, children, youth, adults, and all. It's a time of God's visitation upon all, when everyone who has expectation, who has challenges, who has affliction, who has spiritual needs, who wants to get closer to God, can draw close to any of the social handles to get connected with the power of God, to take away problems, to roll away problems. In the just concluded one, in March, in Juala, Cameroon, why many people all over the world are busy acquiring aid for walking, like walking sick, like uh, all other things we try to use. It was a time for abandoning for his sick, clutches and all other as God miraculously heals people in their pain, in their homes, you need to witness it. It was a time when God raised miracles on the whole world. People all over the globe Send it testimony via social media and various locations witnessing the power of God. I just give you impulses by going back in memory to what happened in previous one. It's a two years old woman from Cross River State by name Rebecca of Guani. Has spinal pain, spinal cord problem for several months. It was bedridden for those months. The doctors were not able to diagnose what the problem was. Loss of drug administration, uh, administration was done. She was operated on eight times, yet the problem persisted. It was bedridden for. By the grace of God, as he connected with GCK, as the convener, Pastor Dr. Dalia Kui prayed. God rolled away the problem. And right now, right from that very time, he can now sit down, walk. Now, we want you to view it now yourself. Happy viewing, as you see it now. This is the power of God. Expect your own to take place. Because with God, nothing is impossible. Any problem that God cannot solve does not exist.
imagine me that should be enjoying my life by now at my own age. I am 73 years old and I've suffered spinal pain for seven months. I was bedridden. I could not walk. I couldn't move. I couldn't even sit on my bed. And yet, I had an excruciating pain that kept me on my bed for many, many months. Yeah. The spinal cord pain led me to the hospital. And doctors administered a lot of drugs on me. And none of these drugs was able to solve my problem because they could not detect easily what really caused my pain in the spinal cord. I was operated upon eight times and yet the pain persisted. As the doctors continued to administer their drugs on me, they noticed that my condition was not improving. And as a result, I was completely abandoned on my sick bed. No drug was able to cure me at this point. I was now totally dependent on my God, the Creator. One of my pastors advised that I should get connected the Lord. to Pastor W. F. Global Crusade. From Joe, Plateau State. In the program that was said in Ondo State, my infant power, captured the Alpha power. Joseph Jasso of Job, Plateau State, had great enlargement that made him to go to college 10 to 13 times in the night. And that became a real problem to him. You can imagine somebody going to college 10 to 13 times in the night. That is no real sleeping. That means the freedom was totally taken away. But God so did it at the triumphant power to pay GCK in all those states as the key to it. As the man of God prayed, the Lord healed him. That night, he told you let one. And right from that very time, the problem is born. If you listen, it's from alive. You can view it now, happy viewing. God bless you. Thank you, Daddy Kumuyi, for giving me this opportunity to share my testimony. My name is Joseph Jatel Longji. I'm so grateful for the GCK that has been going on. I key into the last triumphant power that comes up in Ondo State, and I was having a challenge of about 10 years. I've been to the doctor and they said it's prostate enlargement. I've been urinating more than five, uh, 13 times, more than 10 times in the night. But on the 25th, the first day of the crusade, I listening through satellite in Jaws, mm -hmm. Pastor Daddy Kumuyi said we should up that put time our hand and on where hand your hand and the problem. Up one hand. Once you mentioned the name of Jesus, your problem was clear out of the way. I did that and went home throughout that night. I couldn't go out for urination. I couldn't do anything but at five o'clock, I wake up, I urinate. Throughout the day, there is no urination. From that day up to this moment, I've not been having that challenge again. I'm no longer urinating frequently as before. I'm so grateful to God for this global crusade with Kumuyi. My prayer for Pastor W.F. Kumuyi is that he will keep on uh, carrying on this global crusade so that others will also be able to benefit from this.
praise the Lord. Apart from physical challenges, amen, we still give you more. I want to tell you spiritual problems, young men, women, who we have drug addicts, deliver totally from drug addiction with mental problems all the way, and by the grace of God, God saw them, they got born again, now freed from sin. They are no more living in sin, totally free from all drug addiction. Many of them, Lagos, other parts of Nigeria, and some other parts of the world. Apart from that, we have testimony to those who died. And through the prayer of this same man of God, the Elijah of our time, the Elijah of our time, the Peter and the Paul of our time, the apostle of this very age, we have testimonies of those who died, and God raised them up. Many, many, innumerable are the testimonies. Just as I told you, the last one we had in Duala, clutches, wheelchairs, walking stick, we are abandoned, thrown away. Why thousands and all others are acquiring it all over the world? These people we are taught, threw them away because they need no more the help of those walking aid. They are totally free. The blind see, the lame walk, and various other testimonies. Families are united. What can you talk about? An average reader of the Bible, we see that there is no problem that was brought to Jesus that he could not solve. He healed them all. Jesus is same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Now there is another person, innocent, a Nemo. He has cancer in the leg. Doctor said the skin of the leg has to be cut off, removed, and that there was no way he could be free. His leader linked him with the convener who prayed a short, simple prayer. That is the catalyst of his prayer. Just long prayer, and year after, everything dried up. And right now, he can walk, he can run, he's totally free. Happy viewing. View it now yourself and see what God has done. I want to thank God for Pastor W.F. Kumui for giving me this opportunity to testify of what God has done for me. I don't believe that I can still walk with this leg again. After a doctor told me that they are going to cut the skin of my leg because I have cancer. And uh, a pa uh, my leader linked me to Pastor W.A. Fukumui and he prayed for me and since after that prayer, the leg dry up and it healed. And today, I can walk with my leg, I can run. I want to thank God for Global Crusade. And uh, I believe in God that God will use it to bless us the more. Amen. The common testimony and the agitation is, let GCK continue, so that all other people all over the world will be partakers of the blessing. It spread across the globe, Asia, Europe, America, Africa, every country. The testimony is everywhere. The power of God traveling everywhere. His God is the God of the entire universe. So also this program, the outcome of it is universal, global. 
William Barsley had great problem. Is during GCK loading on the second day, he could only sleep lying on only one side of his body. But by the grace of God, by the grace of God, God took him. And since that day, he is totally free and free. You will be free by the grace of God. My grace, I do not bad. He had growth under the top of God, Ranula, that is the medical name that requires surgery. And that problem persisted, but God visited her during the global crusade as pastor of the Lord. She prayed. God made the Holy Spirit, what he wanted, what requires surgery. Busted, and that was the end of the program. Now, happy viewing. Hello, Pastor. Can you else? All right, uh, we we have listened to um, the to our global planning committee chairman, Pastor Andrew Sage from Port Harcourt. We we have seen how God has really moved in previous editions of GCK. He has highlighted what we should look out for and um, talked about the testimonies that has heralded and has followed the GCK so far. Um, just like you know, this is the fourth um, edition of GCK for this year. And I know that you would be also looking for supernatural visitation from Christ. Thank you very much, sir, for, for sparing um, out of your time to actually be with us and tell us what the global um, outlook is and um, what we are to look out for for this month edition of the GCK. Thank you very much, sir. We are very grateful for sparing out of your time to speak to us today on the show. All right. So, um... Like I said before we went on the break, I would want to know where you are joining us from. Please kindly drop an emoji to show your excitement and also tell us where you are, where you are um, watching us from, where you are listening to us from. I would, I would check um, and also read out uh, what you sent to us. Uh, back to my guest in the studio, we listened to what our pastor just said. Testimonies upon testimonies, God has been touching the life of people.